Hello everyone, Ram McKay here, and welcome back to the Blade of the Haunted Part 3. Okay, so we're outside the Towels Plaza District. This guy said he was along here. Seems you've blooded your knuckles a few times. Looks like there's a new house on the map. Found old Nadara's house. Dog. Dar's dog. Hi there. Well met. Um. Good day. Let's light this room up a little bit. I don't think I have any actual light spells. I was using those crystals. Yep. Where's the white one? There we go. There we go. I hope I can help. Fintius sent me. Oh, yes. Fintius is such a good man. Always lending me a helping hand. So, if you are a friend of him, what can I do for you? Missing pages? Oh, yes, I admit. I had to sell this book to Fintias, though it was not really in a good state. I am sorry, but I really need the money. I'd really like to help you with these missing pages, but I'm afraid that only my poor husband, Bonardo, would have known more about them. Your husband? All right. I think I should trust you. You should know, my poor Ronaldo was a really talented, high-ranked member of the Ninjari Brotherhood. Those brilliant mages who were once... Oh, sorry. I forgot that you can't know anything true about them. There has been so much official propaganda against them. Whatever. Just assume that he was one of those who are usually stigmatized as necromancers by the official mages' guild. It's a shame that they always generalize. They never learned how to distinguish some of their greatest talents from the real ruthless criminals. So that's why he died as one of the victims of the many skirmishes between the so-called guild and its many non-conformant members. He was such a gentle and peaceful man, never meant to harm anyone. He was no threat to nobody at all. I can't understand why they mistrusted him. He wasn't even physically intimidating in any way. Such a small man as he was. Imagine this. He even had to climb a crate or a chair whenever he wanted to pick up something high up on a shelf. What a nonsense to fear him. But what am I talking so much nonsense? That's not why you came here. You wanted to know about the missing pages, didn't you? Please, go on. All right. I'll try to make it short at least this time. I remember that Monardo spent a lot of time on this book. It had something to do with the story of this mythic alien king called Dundaro. Or was it Dandillo? I can't recall. Ario and Dandillon? Oh, yes, that's the name, Harrow and Dandelion. Now I remember. I already heard it as a bedtime story when I was a little child. It looks like I'm getting old and obviously oblivious, as my dear Bonardo would have said. <laughs> 
what a tongue twister! Anyway, I think that he really believed that this old bedtime story was somehow true. Especially that magic sword mentioned there. Well, he took it for a real historic item that might still exist somewhere, you know? He was very fanatic about finding it. So this is why I suppose that he removed those pages from the book himself, just to keep them in a safe place. What place could this be? I am sure that this can only be the place where he also kept all his other important... But, well, this probably means that the pages are lost for us. It's just the same as with my mother's beautiful golden... Oh, no, I am talking too much rubbish. I am sorry, I don't think that I can help you in any way. What did the quest update say? I met Nadar, the old, the old widow, who sold Meridian's historical essay to Ventius. She revealed to me that her late husband Varinado was killed two years ago in one of the skirmishes between the official mages' guild and various non-conformant necromancer factions. He had been researching the Ario and Dundellan legend, and so she assumes that he might have been the one who removed the pages missing from the book. Huh. Come on, lady. Don't dry up on me now. I hope I can help. Mm. Please tell me about that place. No, sorry. I think that this is not something I want to bother you with. Um, Good day. Thanks. How can I return the favor? No, please. I haven't been able to help you at all. Why should you owe me anything? But, well, if you really mean it, if I really think about it, there may be something you might help me with, and it could help you all the same, though I really feel ashamed to ask for it. Go on, please tell me. You really mean it? All right, then. But please don't mistake me for someone who prefers such methods. I am not a criminal. See... I have not always been forced to live in this little hut. Bonardo and I were once living in Talos Plaza district, until his death. So, after he had been murdered, I lost everything, and I was not welcome any more to any of our former friends and neighbors. So, I had to leave and move out here. Honestly, I am glad that I don't have to deal any more with all those who had simply closed their eyes. I feel uncomfortable to say that our lovely former home is now inhabited by nobody else than a member of the Majors Guild. What a shame! It is Antus Vanin, that useless lazy sluggard. He wouldn't do a thing to defend Vonardo, as always. And now he even owns our house. Howsoever, what I wanted to tell you is that my husband had a secret study below our basement. There he used to keep all his private things. As I am a persona non grata in Talos Plaza nowadays, I can't enter our house any more. But even if they let me, I wouldn't. Can you understand that? But what bothers me the most is that I still have a precious piece of jewelry in there. An heirloom of my mother. It is a golden necklace with a blue, red and green amulet. Very pretty. Unfortunately, Vonardo forgot to take it with him during his flight. The secret study room is somewhere below the basement, 
I never entered it myself, because I always respected this to be part of his intimate privacy. What I do know, however, is that he secured it both with a hidden door and also with another firmly locked trap door. If you go in there, you might not only bring me back the amulet, but also find whatever else Ronaldo has left there. I will hand you the key to this study, though you must find the entrance for yourself. And, of course, you must get into the house somehow. Please believe me that I strictly object burglary. I would never ask the thieves' guild to do such things for me. I don't mess about with burglars. I rather consider this an act of justice in remembrance of my dear Bonardo. Please bring me back the amulet and I will be in your debt. And, of course, feel free to take whatever else you'll find there. Here is the key. I wish you all the best, and thank you very much in advance for helping me. Come back to see me when you've got the amulet. Alright, after gaining your trust, Nadar has revealed to me that some of our husbands are my... Uh, Reminders can still be found in a secret study in the basement of her former house in the Talos Plaza district. The house is now inhabited by Antus Valen, Valen uh, of the Mages Guild, so she can't enter it anymore. Nadara has given me a key to the secret study room, but I had to promise her to bring back the old amulet that's still there. It bears a gru, uh, a gru. It bears a green, blue, and red jewelry. Is very valuable. All right, well, let's go find that house. All right, here we are in Talos Plaza District, and here's Auntus's house. Right, it's like you walk into the city, take a right second house on the right against the wall the outer wall so let's do this sneaky mage like put on the amulet of the thief and open very hard lock because it's a very hard lock Okay, so I better keep everything. No lights, that'll blow my cover. Wait, wait, wait. What did I do with that hood that I made to go into the Underdark? I better put it away. Probably somewhere. It's not my inventory anymore. about a minute or so left. So... It's too much night eye. 30 seconds ought to be good. Say that should be your clue right there. A chair propped up against the wall, and a sconce that's not quite in the right place. She did say he was a short man who had to stand up on things, to get get place, get things up high. Ah! Open something. Oh, I see. 
Mm-hmm. Aha, okay, so. Close that behind us and so we're not discovered. Alright, so I don't need this on anymore. Can I put something else on? I don't think so. No. No, I didn't. Alright, well, we'll leave part three off right here and pick up part four right here. I'll see you guys later.